Hello everyone. In today's video, I will be discussing about the in-test question answers of chapter 4, Sorting Materials into Groups. This chapter is in class 6th science. Let us take the first question. Here the first question is name 5 objects which can be made from wood. Now, if we see in our surroundings, in our homes, in our schools, in the market, we find there are many kinds of different objects which are made from wood. So we can select from there also. Otherwise, these are like table, chair, doors, boat, bed. These are the different kinds of objects which are made from wood. Our second question is select those objects from the following which shine which is having the glossy appearance which is having a shiny appearance so out of these objects we have to segregate or separate so objects which are given your glass bowl plastic toy steel spoon and cotton shirt so out of this i find that here it is your glass bowl and steel spoon are the shining objects Come to question number 3, match the objects given below with the materials from which they could be made. Remember, an object could be made from more than one material and a given material could be used for making many objects. So here objects are given and materials are also given. Let us see the object first. So we have book. So book are generally made with the help of paper the material required is paper your tumbler tumbler is that object which we are generally using in our kitchen in our bathroom for storing the water so it could be made with the help of uh, glass also different kinds of tumblers of having different shapes and size we are using so they are generally made from glass and plastic and they are also made from metallic objects also we can have the next object that is chair chair is made up of wood plastic and metal also toy is also made from generally from plastic wood and metal also your shoes are made from leather so in this way we can have different objects and these different objects are made from different variety of materials come to uh, question number four in question number four i see that state where whether the statement given below are true or false so here First one is stone is a transparent while glass is opaque. Uh, stone is transparent, no stone is opaque, but glass we find it is transparent. So it's a false statement for us. Come to B, a notebook has luster while eraser does not. So it is a false statement. Third, chalk dissolve in water. So chalk, uh, if you have the fine powder of chalk, it gets suspended in water but it doesn't dissolve that's a false statement here for a piece of wood floats on water yes a piece of wood uh, floats on water that is a correct and true statement five sugar does not dissolve in water it's a false statement when you dissolve sugar crystals or you can take salt crystal in water after some duration of time or with a continuous stirring we find that the sugar crystals, sugar particles are getting dissolved in water properly. So it's a false statement here. Sixth, oil mixes with water. Uh, it is a false statement. Uh, oil doesn't mix with water. It just float on the surface of water. Then seventh, sand settle down in water. Yes, it's a correct and true statement because sand particles does not dissolve. They get suspended in water and because these particles are heavy in nature, so they get uh, suspended or they get settled down at the bottom of the container that's a true statement then finally eight that vinegar dissolve in water yes it is a true statement vinegar is a liquid and uh, it is a clearly dissolved in water so true statement question five given below the mass the names of some objects and materials water basketball orange sugar globe apple and earthen pitcher and group them as what a round shape and other shapes so let us take the first one round shape so you find that the basketball is round shape 
apple is almost round in shape orange is there in round in shape your globe is also in round in shape and even your earthen pitcher is almost round in shape what about other shape then water is having a different shape depending upon where it is kept and sugar uh, particles in which container we are keeping uh, that type of shape it is acquiring or you can say if you are considering a single sugar crystals it will be having a specific type of shapes uh, but it doesn't round in shape come to the b1 that is eatables and non eatables we can have eatables like water orange sugar apple these are eatable products and what about your non eatables that is your basketball globe earthen pitcher are the non eatable products and objects come to question number 6 here the question number 6 is that list all the items known to you that float in water and check and see if they float in on an oil on or in kerosene so we have a list of some objects that are floating in water so we have your paper wood thin plastic sheet wax uh, ice thermocol and oil so these are the things we generally float in water but what happens whether these objects are able to float on oil yes here we find paper is there plastic sheet is there wax is there thermocol is there wood is there these are the things which generally float in oil also and what about your objects which are floating in kerosene so here from out of these we find paper your thermocol your thin plastic sheet used to float on kerosene also come to question number 7 find the odd one out of the following so a a is having chair bed table baby cardboard so here i find that your baby is your odd one that is baby is a living being and what about the chair bed table cupboard they are on they are all all other are non living being so this is the first one second b rose jasmine boat marigold and lotus we find that here the correct option as per the question find the odd one out that is boat is the odd one out and all other are flowers come to the next one that is aluminium iron copper silver and sand so here both all are metals but sand is not a metal here so we can say that sand is a odd one out come to the last one that is d sugar salt sand copper sulfate so i find that sugar is there salt is there and copper sulfate are able to uh, dissolve in water or we can say soluble these are the solids which are soluble in water but sand is not soluble it is a suspended particles it will remain as it is and they will settle settle down at the bottom because of the heaviness so in this way we come across all the seven question and answers from chapter 4 sorting materials into groups of class 6 science